I can't sleep sometimes because I worry for my future. I want my kid to have more opportunity than me. At Dan Church Aid, we believe that everyone has the right to a dignified life. That is why we have been working for 100 years to save lives, build resilient communities, and fight extreme inequality. This is our story. A story of 100 years of hope and action. World War I left Europe in ruins. 100 representatives from Protestant churches in 22 countries set up a meeting in Copenhagen. They feel that it is the duty of the church to help neighbors in need. This becomes the beginning of the world's first church-based relief organization. The theologian Alfred Theodor Jorgensen is in charge of the Danish delegation and lays the foundation for Dan Church Aid. No one imagined that the need for humanitarian relief would last more than a few years. But soon after, World War II breaks out. It turns Europe into a new apocalyptic wasteland with millions of refugees. In response, Dan Church Aid takes on the task of collecting money to help starving children and widows in the Nordic countries and German refugees after the war. At the beginning of the 1950s, the aid begins to extend beyond Europe's borders. The Palestine Arab refugees are struggling for survival. After the creation of the State of Israel, thousands of Palestinians are displaced from their land. Three quarters of a million displaced human beings are dependent upon charity for their very existence. Dan Church Aid helps the refugees and supports Augusta Victoria Hospital. Our focus expands from year to year. We no longer solely work through churches, but through many different partners around the world. Today, Dan Church Aid is a part of the Global ACT Alliance, which is a collaboration between faith-based relief aid and development organizations in 120 countries. Together, we reach people in need, regardless of religion, gender, sexual orientation, race or political beliefs. In 1967, images from the African Republic of Biafra goes around the world and directly into people's living rooms. But with funds collected from the Danish people and Secretary General Vigo Mollerup at the forefront, Dan Church Aid creates a legendary airline, Jesus Christ Airlines. Flying at night, their destination wasn't an airport, just a stretch of road, and their planes had seen better days. For four years, the Daredevils at DCA complete 5,000 flights to deliver food and other emergency aid to the starving population. The motto is fly now, pray later, and becomes a reminder of our willingness to act. In the 1960s, a large number of African colonies liberate themselves and become independent nations. The new countries are left impoverished, and there is a great need for agricultural development, healthcare, and schools. This becomes the start of DCA's long-term development assistance, with Danida as our largest partner even today. The aim of this work is to empower people to become self-sustaining and to build resilient communities. The year is 1972. Pastor Herleth Anderson and his wife Ruth have the idea of selling recycled clothes and other used items. They start Denmark's first recycling shop, which has grown to include 112 shops and more than 3,500 volunteers throughout Denmark. 
Today, the shops make an annual profit of almost 4 million US dollars, which helps combat poverty in the world. In non-racial society, which is my vision and which is the vision of so many people. Desmond Tutu visits Copenhagen in 1979, and it becomes a new turning point in our history. The Archbishop brings a single message to the Danes. If you really are against apartheid, then you must act on it. We take that call to heart. Dan Churchaid supports Tutu's call for an economic boycott of South Africa. We recognize that it is not enough to help people in urgent need. We must also combat the causes of poverty and oppression. We must promote democracy and human rights. Sometimes I, I get angry at God and ask why? Why, God, should you let these children suffer innocently? Because the parents are dead. These children have no one at all in the world to care for them. Who will care for them? The AIDS epidemic is spreading around the world and is hitting Africa hard. Up to 70% of all the world's HIV-infected and AIDS-affected people live in sub-Saharan Africa. That's why we, by the end of the 1980s, joined the fight against AIDS with tests, information and education about safe sex. How do you re-establish a secure life in a country where war has left mines and unexploded ordnance everywhere? At the end of the Balkan Wars, Dan Churchaid is assigned the task of clearing mines in Kosovo so that thousands of refugees can return home safely. It becomes the starting point for clearing mines in a large number of the world's hotspots as an important part of our relief work. I like to take off the mines and uh, it feels like uh, saving someone's life. By the turn of the millennium, more than a billion people have been lifted out of poverty. More children than ever are going to school and child mortality is falling. But the progress among the world's poorest is short-lived. Wars, natural disasters and climate change mean that today there are more than 82 million refugees and internally displaced persons. And since 2020, COVID-19 has pushed hundreds of millions of people back into extreme poverty. That is why Dan Church Aid is needed more than ever. We work on solving challenges through long-term, close cooperation with more than 200 local partners, church and humanitarian organizations and businesses. Together, we save lives. Together, we build resilient communities. Together, we fight extreme inequality. Because we share responsibility in the crisis, as well as the solutions. Together, we are putting the climate on the international agenda. We are introducing new drought-resistant crops, collecting rainwater and preventing floods. We are planting trees that absorb CO2 and provide shade and fruit. At home, we work with Danes on food waste and sustainable consumption. And every year, local churches and parishes, schools and associations help to send more than 10,000 people to the streets to raise money for people in need. Much has changed since Alfred Theodore Jorgensen founded Dan Church Aid, but our Christian values have not. We are constantly working toward a world where everyone has the right to a dignified life. This is our story, and this is our mission for the next 100 years.